Hello again there YouTube. Just a uh, quick update video for you guys. I uh, haven't done one in a while. Um, there's been no major changes to the uh, solar shed or um, the solar powered garage uh, in the past few months. Uh, main reason why I haven't done a video. But uh, one thing I've done today was uh, I wanted to see how efficient these uh, cheap inverters are. Now, as I've probably mentioned in my previous videos, these things are quite cheap. You can pick them up on eBay for about, uh, I think it's about 40, 50 pounds. And they're rated for about 350 watts. Um, now, we have had problems in the past with uh, the reliability on them, but so far, for the past year, these ones have been good. But we've been struggling to get the rated power out of our panels on the roof. Um, now I looked at the cabling, we uh, increased the cable sizes, rewired on the roof to try and make sure we're not losing anything there. So the next suspect was the inverters. So what I've got here is a uh, power meter. Now this is identical to the same one we use in the solar shed for monitoring our power use. Um, now what this does is it will tell you exactly how much power you've got going through. So the way that I've got this wired up is we've got the power coming down from the panels here and normally it would be going through to the inverter. So we've got two sets of cables, we've got one set with three panels on it going to one inverter and another set of three panels going to the other inverter. Now I've measured both and I will add my calculations to this video uh, in post editing. But essentially you can see here at the moment there's only about 40 watts coming in. Uh, it is quite an overcast day today. Uh, I have struggled to uh, get any good sunlight for the readings but I did manage to get some earlier. But as I say currently now Right now we're getting 48, 49 watts in, but we're only getting 42, 43 watts out. Now, basically I found that in terms of efficiency, you're looking around about 80% on these inverters. Uh, I mean, you can see now the power is climbing, the sun's just come out from behind the clouds. So let's just see where this goes to. So we're up to around 170, 180, and yet there's only about 150 coming in. I mean, it's jumping around a bit as the clouds go by. Um, when I took the readings earlier, I kind of did them immediately so I could compare the two uh, on a spreadsheet. Um, the other interesting thing I have found is that these inverters they peak at about 220 watts. Um, you can see, if you can see there, it'll go around and it'll say it peaked earlier today at about 227, which is not bad considering that each inverter has got 240 watts worth of panels on it. So essentially we've got 240 watts going into this one and 240 watts going into that one. Um, but the most, you know, but we're not seeing that kind of output. So, anyway, just a quick video to show you guys the uh, efficiency on these inverters. Um, on average, is it's about 80%, um, but the higher the power you're putting in, the less efficient it gets. Um, when we did peak at the 220 odd watts, the efficiency turned out to be about 75%. So, the more power, the, you know, the closer that you, the closer that you are getting. To that rating, the less efficient they are. Um, and realistically, I wouldn't want to put much more than 250 watts into one of these anyway. Um, but yeah, only meant to be a quick update video. Any questions, let me know. And uh, I will add a little spreadsheet after this, uh, just with the calculations, so that you guys can see the readings I took and uh, how the power worked out. Okay, thanks again for watching. Any questions? please feel free to let me know.